Hey guys, Lautnerland here with uh, weekly pickups number three. It's uh, quite delayed. Normally, I would I would have released this on uh, Monday, last Monday, the, uh, which would, was uh, November twenty eighth. But uh, I had a virus in my computer, and uh, basically, um, it's dead. And you know, I lost all my files, my intro, and everything. So I finally got all my programs back running, back up and running, and uh, I redid the intro. I'm sure you've noticed, took some better pictures, changed the transitions and stuff. Um, so basically, after this week, everything is going to go on as normal. I'm going to have an, a weekly pickups for on Monday. Um, it's just this one that was delayed. But I do have a ton of stuff. I'm going to show, e even though I've gotten stuff since then, I'm going to you know just show what I have, uh, what I got last Sunday. Uh, so I if you watched Rec RetroQuest uh, 2, you know that I went um, to a flea market and got did some meetups and got some pretty nice stuff. So let's get started. First up at a meetup, uh, the Empty Box, for it's a really rare game. And I'm f hoping to get this game sometime soon. Uh, the game alone is not worth all that much. It's a Game Boy game. But with the box, it's quite valuable. It's uh, Yogi Bear's Gold Rush. Uh, the box is in fairly good shape on the edge, on the corners and the edges. Uh, it's it bent a bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten it and just put it in a, a heavy book, and uh, it should be fine. That's what I do with most boxes. Uh, from another meetup, I got two fairly rare Super Nintendo games that I've been looking for. First up is Oscar. Uh, I don't know too much about this game. I, I've just kind of uh, you know heard it recommended and stuff. Uh, one thing that I noticed when I was checking it out is that it's actually made in Mexico, whereas most of the games are made in Japan, so that I found pretty cool. Uh, the other game that I got from that deal was uh, Super Mario All-Stars Super Mario World. I did not have this yet. I have both of those games, of course. I just don't have the um, you know them on the same cartridge. Uh, so for those, I traded a few uh, empty boxes and Mega Man 64. Um, now the main place that I went to, that I went to Ottawa for, was uh, a flea market where I contacted the owner of the, of the booth uh, beforehand, and he, uh, he's a reseller, but like, you know, not the typical flea market reseller, he has a whole collection, he has a store, and he really knows his prices, he gives them eBay value probably less usually, you know, he'll bargain, add stuff in for free, it's really great, um, he added... Uh, one of the games in for free and you know I did a direct trade so it didn't cost me anything except a lot of games and so yeah it's, I'm pretty excited by what I got first uh, I'll show you I got my favorite game it's a double but you know it's good it's great for trades and everything so that's Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters I have this game complete in the box already which I I actually found at a a different flea market the box was a buff with all this stuff and uh, so yeah, I'm happy to have this again uh, the other, another game that I got there, the one that he threw in for free is uh, Double Dragon 5. It says $20 on it, but it was actually marked at 10 I just didn't get around to taking that off yet. I'll take it off now. So that's, I've been looking for that. Uh, I've seen it, up, seen, it, seen it around, but I passed up on it. Next is um, another game that I've, I've, ne I've never actually seen, but I've heard of and recommended and you know all that stuff I've been looking forward to playing. King Neptune, King Neptune's Adventure. It's a Color Dreams game, uh, and it's it's pretty rare from what I hear. Uh, and apparently, it looks beautiful. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. And then, um, finally, uh, the two games that I really, you know, went went there for what I what I didn't want to come back without. Um, they're really rare games. Both of them are NES games. You've already seen them if you've seen Retro Quest Two. They're actually in, in, in my intro, I added them, that's how much I love them. Um, and they are Bubble Bobble Part 2 and the Flintstones, Surprise at Dino Peak. Now, these are probably the two rarest games I have. I do have Earthbound Complete in the box, but that's nothing like these. These are really just uh, incredibly hard games to find. Um, and I, I've been looking for them. And I finally found them. I'm very happy with the trade. And I'm really looking forward to playing these two games. Um, what else? So, yeah, in, in the intro, another game uh, is it, in the intro that I added that will be in next week's 
uh, pickups video along with whatever else I can find when I go out this weekend. So, you know, sorry for the delay. I, I hope you enjoyed the video anyways. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Thanks. See you next week.